I'm obsessed with our midfield. I think our midfield are amazing. I think tactically, Gareth Southgate got it spot on yesterday, playing obviously Bellingham and Henderson, you know, further advanced. Um, and that's where the first goal came from, you know. Bellingham was just, uh, I mean, this guy has got no ceiling. He's exceptional at his age, you know, to be doing what he's doing. I don't think anyone else has ever done it at his age. You know, obviously the ball into Henderson um, for the first goal. Harry Kane scoring, I think that was key for us, you know, for him scoring just at the right time. Mm. Um, I think that's massive because he'll go into the France game with huge confidence. I know as a striker, when you don't score, mm. it just starts to play on your mind more and more. You pretend it like it's not, but it is. It's playing on your mind. Now he's got that off his, off his, um, you know. Now he's got yeah. off the mark. I think he'll go into the France game believing he can, he can score again. And he's played uh, Jude as a deeper one alongside uh, Declan, and in the last couple of games he's played him further up the pitch. Where yeah. do you see his best position? Or I, I think, I think Jude uh, pushing on is what takes England to another level. Actually, mm. I think actually when you look at the midfield last last um, year at the Euros, I actually think we were quite flat and quite static with Phillips and Rice. I think they're very similar. I think with Bellingham, it, it takes us to another level mm -hmm. because he goes on and drives on. He's got that amazing timing, you know, the Frank Lampards of this yeah, world, that yeah. he just, just times it brilliantly. Um, and with Henderson and Bellingham last night doing the same, it was like attacking wise, we had like five in the box when yeah. we were attacking. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't think we should do that against France though. I do think that we should go back to that sort of, whether it's Rice and Henderson or, or Bellingham and Henderson um, uh, sort of sitting behind the ball because yeah. we've yeah. got to stop counter attacks against France. But I think Bellingham is, j I can't, I can't, you know, it's just, mm. he's just amazing. You know, Ali and Bellingham have a special friendship now. They're each other's favorite people. I'm quite jealous actually. Really? Yeah, I'm jealous. Oh, I'm a big fan. Lost my mate. I'm a massive fan. And I was going to ask you, Stuart, as well, what you think. I mean, he, he's rise. I'm saying he's rise. He's 19, but obviously Bellingham's 16. We only played, I think, was, we only played 40 games with Birmingham. But I was going to ask you, what about the Dortmund recruitment? Oh. Mm. It must be unbelievable. You look at the players, Sancho, whether it's Haaland, Bellingham, it's unbelievable, eh? It is. I mean, I, I, I'm one of these people that think it's really good for English players to go abroad and play, mm -hmm. you know? I think I've yeah, heard Juventus, you say a similar yeah. type of mm. thing, and you've done it yourself. I think it broadens your horizons, you mature quicker, and, you know, if you look at the Spain players and the France players and the German players that have won, a lot of them play abroad, you know, and the, I think it improves you as a player. And Jude certainly has been one of those, Jaden Sancho as well. We've got so many now. Do you think it's played into the kind of person that he is? Or, or do you think, because when I look at Jude in interviews and things like that, and, and we say, God, he's so mature and he's so this and so that, is he thriving in a different, in a different country because he's already got that in him? Or do you think that it's it, that has kind of brought him out? I think being in a different country matures you instantly. You know, I, I remember going getting to Italy and I felt like a baby. I couldn't speak the language. I had to just figure it out. Mm. And he would have had a similar experience, you know, at such a young age. But I think it's more his, his passion for football. You know, mm. I, I think Henderson, I saw Henderson say uh, on an interview yesterday, um, it, it they share a, a, a hunger for football that you just it's just in your blood and you see it in the way he plays um, and I think there's a humility to him as well he knows that he's not sort of reached it yet but he's getting there um, I think he's an amazing kid really I mean yeah. is he, mm -hmm. he is a kid. Him a kid he's 19 <laughs> um, and you know I, I relate he's, he's obviously from Birmingham he's got sort of humble beginnings great parents um, you know, but he's just got to, you know, he's got to sort of take all of this in his stride because the whole world's talking about him right now. Yeah. You guys, you should see any Luko and Karen Carney whenever we talk about Jude Bellingham. <laughs> the, the Birmingham yeah. connection is so yeah. strong. They're like proud There's mothers not, or something, aren't you? Be. Surely <laughs> it should no, be. It, no, it yeah. should. You're absolutely right. Okay, how do, um, how's Stuart, if you were the man in charge and you were facing France in a quarterfinal this Saturday, you're the boss, what do you do? How do you uh, win that? Um, I think you've got to make special attention to Mbappe. He is that good. You, you've got to be concerned about him. That's why I'd play Rice on that side of the pitch. Uh, in a defensive out of possession, I, I'd have a two. So it's a box of four, two centre-halves, two holding midfield players. In possession, switch it a little bit. So Dex, mm. the deep liar, and then give, whether it be Bellingham or if you're pl playing Henderson, the opportunity to get forward and overload uh, advanced areas in possession. But I would want 
if it's Walker on this side dealing with him, make sure you stop the supply line. You know, strikers, any know she's been a striker. They want to get the ball, they want to get turned and they want to run at you. You've got to deny the ball to his feet first. That's the starting point. Others around can help with that. We, If you do, he does get turned and, and coming at you. I'd want to see Declan getting over as quickly as possible and try and sort of doubling up. There. It's fascinating, you know, because it's a, it's a game at the weekend where I actually think both teams will be happy with the other team in possession of the football. Mm-hmm. I really do. I think both teams mm-hmm. can counter-attack for fun and they won't mind not having a lot of possession of the ball. I mean, you, you look at England the first 40 minutes or so last night, they, they had plenty of possession but they didn't really get going until they scored the first goal. You could argue say, Senegal had the better, well, I think they definitely had the better chances, but they got going once they got the first goal. Um, so, uh, And it's also a game, I don't think, with, with Julian Laurent and earlier on, it's also a game, I don't think Deschamps and the French lads will mind, I wouldn't say underdogs, but I think in a lot of people's eyes they might be second favourites now, and mm. I think they might play on that.